all right guys so welcome to our class of adobe illustrator um so on the screen is this design everything was done from scratch to finish using the adobe illustrator cc i'm going to start from the beginning and uh, now if you go to this design you will see that this guy and this guy are different so I can decide to take this guy up and then you have stuff like this. So I'm sure you must have seen these designs before, maybe on the clothing or randomly when you are checking, when you are browsing the internet. So this is best done using Illustrator. Um, for all my Coral Draw friends, I'm sure you guys are also going to enjoy Illustrator. It is a very exciting um, design um, software so let's 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 hit the let's hit the design let's go forward all right so these are all the variations the variants um, as you can see this was another design um, but these are all the variants of the designs i had using that um, using illustrator so this is on white background this is on dark gray background and uh, this is on white background but it has its own background right so we are going to do our uh, some scratch okay so let's go ahead and create a new document we we'll just go to file and new i'm going to use um 600 by 600 pixels my height is 600 my width is 600 my height is 600 um so that means it's going to be a square um dimension right it's going to be a square dimension color mode rgb raster effects 300 ppi right um, um all right maybe we can just have one ad board for now so we just go to create and it creates a new um design for us right so here is our new design our new um, document so here is our new document we are now going to use our text tool on the toolbar we're going to launch our text tool click on it and then we'll click on the stage and we're going to just type cut in caps right so after typing it always go back to your selection tool so you can uh, make adjustments right just like in Photoshop. So I'll hold my shift and increase this. If I do not hold my shift, this is what's going to happen. It's going to be um, distorted. So I'm going to hold my shift to keep the scale in check. And I am going to use one font called Bebas New. Bebas New. Let me launch my notepad. Bebas New. That's the name of the font. Um, font type Bebas New. Um, then uh, that's this. the first thing is to create. Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, create text. Cut using font type Bebas New, right? So we are going to use the Bebas New. If you want to download this Bebas New, I'm going to put the um the link to the font on um my description. Um, but I, I urge you to subscribe to my channel. I really urge you to subscribe to my channel because you won't get notifications. You won't get a lot if you do not subscribe to my channel. For those of us that want to launch into a new a new software, um, uh, Adobe Illustrator, I know there are a lot of videos out there online, but I'm going to teach you some of these videos are a bit um, confusing, especially for beginners. But I'm going to teach you just the basic so you can go out there and um, discover 
other secrets and tips in Illustrator. Illustrator is a very wide software. Um, there are a lot of shortcuts, a lot of ways to approach to get things done, right? So I'm going to use Bebas new and don't you see it gives a kind of square um, um, typeface. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to duplicate this text by holding my alt key alt key in that's for windows for um mac is the options key right so i'm going to use my press my alt key and drag this out that will automatically create a duplicate right automatically create a duplicate now the reason why i like duplicating it is so that if I want to revisit my design, I can have this duplicate. I can have this text here, right here. Um, and it also makes me to remember the name of the text I used. Because once I'm going to expand this to be a vector graphic, the text feature disappears. Right now it's a text, but I'm going to make it, I'm going to expand it. Expanding means to vectorize it. I'm going to make it to be a vector, a shape, right? So I can do that by right clicking and going to create outlines right now because it is now a shape, it's no longer a text. The text functions and features and characteristics has been um, gone off, has been is disappeared, it doesn't exist. Another way of doing it, let me go by go go press my control Z. Okay. Another way of doing it is by clicking on the text and going to objects and then you click on expand right so these things comes out for you to expand the object or the field just leave it the way it is and just click on okay so right now it is now so either way is fine right now it's now a vector it's no longer a text right so having done that I am going to launch maybe um yeah let's leave it as black and white i'm going to launch my scissors tool no sorry my knife tool knife tool is used for cutting what for cutting shapes vectors right why the scissors tool is used for cutting lines yeah so knife tool for cutting vectors shapes scissors to for cutting lines stroke strokes are lines too right and outlines okay so i might have that in the description who knows I might add it to my description my video description who knows i might remember okay so um i'm going to launch the scissors to the knife to um it is found in the eraser tool this is your eraser tool so this is found as a sub menu in the eraser tool so that is the knife tool i'm going to launch it now look at the way the knife tool works you can use it and cut vectors or shapes right and that's the way it works this is a free this is a freehand movement or a freehand cutting what if i want to make a point-to-point -point cutting or a straight line cutting i will hold my alt key for windows for mac options key so i hold my my alt key and just draw it so this is for straight line cutting right point-to-point -point cutting and that's what i'm going to do here so i'll hold my alt key and I'm going to do this right here. Let me do it like this. Yeah. So I release my hand and that hits that's is, that's is it. It has cut this too. I'll go back to my selection tool and I click on the empty space which is the background and i click back on this guy right so everything is selected because it's grouped so i right click and then ungroup i've ungrouped the selection so we now have this guy on his own this guy on his own this guy on his own 
and this guy on his own, right? So now I want to group this cutting. So I have to select, I want to say, I want to group this cutting here, this cutting here, this cutting here, this cutting here. Yes. So I'll select this one, which is already selected. I hold my shift and I'll select this guy here, select this guy here and select this guy here. And then right click and go to group. The shortcut key for group is control J just like as it is in um, Coral Draw. Control G, sorry, not J. So that's the, I've grouped it. So if I move this guy, everything moves at the same time, right? If I cut it, it cuts at the same time too, right? So um, hence we have this uh, design here. So what we're going to do now is to give colors. Right, as you can see here, all these guys here have different colors. Now we're on white, now we're on gray, right? So let's give it a color. Let's give this guy a color. I'll launch my swatch. I don't like using this swatch here, this default swatch, because it has the attributes of CMYK. Uh, so I'm going to launch my default swatches and clicking this small icon here that looks like libraries of books. I'll just click on it, go to default swatches and go to arts and illustration. And I'm expanding this panel space so I can see my whole swatches. Then I'll click on this guy since it's already grouped. I'll just click on it and then give it a lighter gray, right? And click on this guy here. I have not grouped these guys here. So let me select this guy, this guy, and this guy. And then my group, right? So that's it. Uh, I just moved it to see if all of them went, moved alongside, that's together. So um, on this guy, I'm going to use a darker feel, maybe a much darker feel, right? Good. So we now have this cut. Now, some people may be asking me, oh, what are the scissors? I saw a scissors here. How do we do bring the scissors? Well, I have downloaded the scissors already on my um, Illustrator. Um, in the next video, I'm going to teach you how to download um, um, vector files online. How to download vector files online. That's download vector, I call them assets, on line the name of the vector assets i have this particular kind of um, extension format but to show you how to download vector assets online so this is what i downloaded i am going to bring it into my illustrator right so i'm going to go to file and go to place and then look for it um um well even if i i think that's a very long method we have drag and drop feature now so i'm just going to drag it into my workspace here right and there is it it has dragged it into my workspace i'm going to delete all this um stuff first and foremost i'm going to ungroup it seems all of them are grouped um on group and then click on this guy just highlight all of them and delete so i just need this guy here right so i'm going to control c and go to my workspace and control v and that's it hold my shift and reduce the scissors and then rotate it right um and that is it so i'm going to give it a color i'm going to give it this color gray so now we have the cuts and then we have all the you can add your own code designs or anything you want to add so i want to create variants of this now so i'm going to select this whole cut design i'm going to now the question is how do you align it to the center of the screen the way i do it and the way it's essentially done in illustrator you select everything Control g to group everything and then you go to your align a workspace here if it's not here look for it in your windows it should be here the reason why it's checked is because it's here if it's not here it's not going to be checked that means everything here checked is on my screen right so if it's not there you just click on it and it just pops out and then that's how it's going to be so if you see here you will see align to 
artboard aligned to selection and aligned to key objects so what we're going to do is to select this whole guy again um and then we we'll go to align is already selected aligned to artboard right if it's not if you want to use align to selection if that means you are selecting different um um objects to align to it but right now i want to align it to this artboard this is an artboard right so you now see different kinds of alignment align to the left center blah 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 we're going to use align horizontally to the um, horizontal align center we're going to click on it so it aligns horizontally center then it remains the vertical so we're going to click on vertical to align it to the vertical so right now it's aligned to the vertical and to the horizontal right so what we want to do is to create a new artboard so how do we create a new artboard this is the tool to create a new artboard you just click on it and then the whole artboard selects then to duplicate you hold your alt key just like i showed you initially to duplicate you have to hold your alt key that's for windows for mac is options right that's mac mac users is options so i hold my alt key let me launch it again for those maybe if you think i'm very fast let me leave it a while so you can pause or screenshot whatever i want to do all right so saving this and then i'll go to alt key and then duplicate this guy here right now i have a duplicate or a clone image of this guy so this is going to be my variant the second ad board so um right now you notice that the layers are in don't forget the layers that illustrator doesn't make too much noise about the layers doesn't mean that the layers is not important adobe makes a lot of noise using the layers you know it makes a whole lot of noise you can't do any work without the layers in in uh, in adobe photoshop but illustrator doesn't make noise too much but it doesn't mean that it doesn't um uh, watch your layers it watches your layers a lot you know so for you to be professional learn how to use your layers in adobe um, illustrator is for your own good so right now the two of them are clustered in one layer i want to isolate this clone to be his own in its own layer so i'll just select all this guy here and then ctrl x ctrl x is what cut ctrl x i didn't say ctrl s i said ctrl x that's plus Ctrl X is cut. Yeah, it's a Windows um, short, shortcut key for cutting anything. Right, so I will now go to this plus is to create a new layer. The reason why my own is plus is because my version of Adobe Illustrator is 2022, right? So yours might be something else, might be like a sticky note or something. Yeah, so I'll just create a new layer and then on this new layer i will now press ctrl shift v that has to paste in place another way of doing it is going to edit and going to paste in place if you've been watching my videos you realize that i use uh, this is not the first time i'm using this paste in place before so you guys need to subscribe you really need to subscribe okay so i'm going to create a new background here I'm going to create a new background. I'm going to create, um, use my rectangle key and then create a new background over here. And um, after creating a new background, this is a great background, non notwithstanding, is okay. So I'm going to bring it at the back, just like, just be watching my layers. Let me bring it out here so you see everything. Just be watching my layers. So this is the layer I just created. So it came in front of this guy here. Just like in Photoshop, you just drag this one, this guy up. So this guy stays up and this guy stays down. So um, now this is my layer. I want to lock this guy because I don't want him to be selected when I'm doing my stuff from the cut design. So this is this space is for lock. Yes, it's for lock. So I'm going to lock this background so I can focus on this guy without this guy being selected. So I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to click on this guy and on group remember that i grouped everything so i'm going to group and uh, this guy is on his own so remember that inside the groups they have subgroups right 
If you watch your layers, you will see that there are different. This is a group. You see there are other group inside this group, right? There are, you know, there are groups here, there are groups here. This, like, okay, this one is for the top group of the cut. This one is for the down group of the cut, right? So I'm going to select this guy, go to my swatches and look for, um, look for a brighter piece of um, gray. And this guy, um, I think this guy is okay. I'll look for a whiter piece of gray. Um, let me just use white. So we now have this guy, you know, if you want to add more, you know, easy, you can decide to, Take this guy, shift it a bit to give you that kind of feeling of a cut. But before we do that, we I just realized that my scissors um, is here. So let me give it a white. Um, yeah, let me give it white. In this case, let me use white, right? Or lighter gray. And now, let me now move this guy a bit. So I will have cuts, right? So. Now, I now want to type the designs here. I'll just launch my text tool and just look for designs and just type D E I D E S I N G. Now, if you look at it, everything is very clustered. You can't really see everything. I'm just going to use my shift and increase it, right? Now, take it up, move it to this side, um, and then give it a color let me use this color let me use this color i used down right so there'll be consistency in the color scheme and then let me go to my character and increase the spacing in the characters right this va is to increase the spacing in the characters you see it a lot in um, photoshop so these are the elements of typeface People know how to use text, but they don't know how to uh, incorporate it into typeface in their designs. I'm going to do a separate video, but I need your subscribers. I need your subscribers. I need you. It motivates me to post more videos and to do more stuff. So I'm going to increase the track spacing in between characters, right? I'm going to use this and increase it. I'm just going to type it. Just go to this drop down and go to 200. I think 200 is too small. Let me raise it up to 700. Yeah, so I think 700 is good. I'm now going to increase it a bit. Yeah, cut design. So that's it. That's one of the um, the variants. I can have other variants for this. Let me create another variant. Go to my add bot tool and everything selects. And I will now duplicate this again in this second gradient oh he said one of it cannot be moved because it's locked right so i have to unlock it this guy was locked so i have to unlock it so take note of that you can't move a locked layer so i'm going to move this guy and drag it to a new layer a new ad board and go to my layers just like i did initially and i'm going to select everything here go to my selection tool and select everything here so i want to create put it in a new layer i go to ctrl x um create a new layer um and then come here and then go to edit and paste in place just like i did initially the same principle just like i did for this guy here everything i did for this guy for this ad board is also what i did here so in this case i'm going to change this guy to black i think everything selected right so i'm just going to go back click on the background and click on this guy again so make it black right so this black pops out all the features in this case i'm going to make this guy white no longer um i think yeah this is white now right so it's going to be white not light gray so we have cut design so um that is how i came up with this and in the layer you can decide to give these layers a write-up you can have this guy just double click the text double click it just like you have in um, photoshop give this guy make it original just i can type here original and here i will now type variants one and here I'll have variant, variant two, right? So 
and then um, that is it you want to export you go to file and go to export um i usually use if for variants i like using exports for screens so it exports everything right so i'll come here and um give this a name remember i gave the layer a name i didn't give the ad board a name so i can come here uh, you can come here and give it a name um uh okay let's let's go ahead we'll go to export we'll go to export for screens then let's give this guy a name call him original and this guy we'll call him variant one and this guy will call him variant two right and we put him in a folder we click on this folder icon we want to select the folder where he should be so i'm going to put him in my i'm going to create a new folder okay i think this folder is okay it's empty uh, let me give it a fine name let me give it a fine name and call it um cut designs right then and hit enter and open it and then put it inside so right now um uh yeah so that's youtube channel and cut designs that's it so format is in png right png you can decide to click on this gearbox here that looks like settings to see more attributes on your png you want to give your png a white color or you want to give it transparent so here i'm going to use white right let me use white since there's no need of transparency in this case but if you want to use transparent you click transparent it saves it on a transparent background do you understand so save settings and what again png blah 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 create subfolders no i don't want you to create subfolders uh, let you just create it put it in this um cut designs when i'm done i'll just go to exports right so export for export successfully and that is it so this is the png version i can launch it here open um let's see right so that is the core design i go to the next one and go to the last one so you can use the designs for your t-shirts and so on i also want to use it on t-shirts subsequently when i enter into the t-shirt um, this creating this in t-shirt designs and mock-up right so thank you for watching and make sure you like my videos my channel I'm going to post the channel link on my uh, my video description or you can just simply go to subscribe and make sure you turn on your notification all see you guys in the next class and bye